I'm Brittany Umar. Welcome to the Nooner presented by the Village Poor House. No rain delays here. We've been drinking all morning. In Atlanta, the Mets won a game in which they exemplified heart, edge, clutchness, grit, and intensity thanks to two home runs from Carlos Beltran. He's now hitting 400, but I just received this memo from the leak of New York media horrors instructing me that I have to say he still sucks because he didn't slide twice. Apparently, I also have to get fat, bitter, and start a blog. One more quick Mets note, let's meet the man taking Oliver Perez's spot in the rotation. It's Ken Takahashi. You may remember him as Joe Takagi from Die Hard or from the Toronto Blue Jays spring training garbage heap. Either way, your 2009 Mets starting rotation. Give us your tired, your poor, your broken, and your fat. The Yankees lost to the Red Sox at a rain-soaked Yankee Stadium last night. But who the hell cares about that? Let's talk about A-Rod and crystal meth. First off, we've had a lot of fun at A-Rod's expense at this whole book thing, so we thought for once we'd take his side. There's a claim in the book from a friend that says, Alex can't stand fat people, he really can't be around them. Well, what's wrong with that? So he likes this stripper better than this stripper. Can you really destroy the guy over that? Author Selena Roberts pretty much blames all of A-Rod's wackiness on the fact that he was forever scarred when his father left him when he was 10. Okay, so he got back at his dad by growing bitch tits. I love how random authors think they're expert doctors and psychologists. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Seuss. I'll tell you the places that I'll go. All right, sorry about that. Let's move over to the meth. Java Chamberlain's mother was arrested in Nebraska for selling a gram of meth to an undercover police officer. Wait. Is that the right picture? Yikes, I can't tell the difference. Jabba was named after his mom. Turns out Jabba's mom was arraigned in the same Lincoln, Nebraska courtroom where Jabba faced his drunk driving charges. Next up, Dad Harlan Chamberlain's deposition for manhugging under the influence. Mama Jabba allegedly sold a small plastic bag of Nebraska's vice of choice to an undercover cop for 110 bucks. When told of the arrest, Jabba said, she's still my mom and I love her. And Andy Pettit said, see if she has anything stronger. Chamberlain said it has been a while since the two last spoke and acknowledged that his mother has struggled with drugs for a long time. He says all he can do now is love her, pray for her, and take comfort in coke. What? No, Phil Coke, Phil Coke, they're friends. Okay, we have to go. We have a quota of only four crystal meth jokes per show, so we're saving the rest for tomorrow. Rationing at our stash, wink, wink.